Good evening. Um, my name is Joanne Gauthier Galli. I am a Lewis D syndrome patient. I am the mother of two Lewis D syndrome patients. And I am also a co founder of the Lewis D syndrome Foundation Canada. So our lives, as we knew it, changed on Christmas Eve 2009 with our oldest son being diagnosed uh, with LDS at the Cleveland Clinic. I was luckily diagnosed in January 2010, and then our second son was diagnosed in May 2010. Our youngest son was spared, and our oldest son saved my life. Uh, why the Cleveland Clinic? Well, because at the time, we just didn't have access to uh, timely resources nor expertise in Montreal. Meanwhile, at Johns Hopkins, Dr. Uh, Lois and Dr. Dietz were confronted with patients that were identified as Marfan-like, that were dying earlier than expected. Um, the patient's aortic roots were at about four centimeters, and you probably, I'll tell you just in case you don't know, Marfan, uh, the uh, threshold for surgery is at five centimeters. So. Because of this problematic, um, our two brilliant minds research um, resulted in um, identifying Lois D syndrome in January 2005. So Lois D syndrome is an autosomal disease and uh, the affected parent can, has 50% chances to transmit this disease to the offsprings. And we also know that there are de novo uh, diagnoses as well. Uh, you can see on the slides that Lois D is a multi-systemic disorder. It shares many characteristics with Marfan. Uh, that being said, we call Lois D syndrome Marfan's uh, deadlier cousin because of the more aggressive nature of the disease. So for this very reason, diagnostic, diagnostic and treatment plan for Lois D syndrome is, it requires a different approach. Um, early and proper diagnosis are key. So if medical professionals look at patients through a Marfan set of glasses, chances are they will miss the Lois D syndrome patient because of the difference on how it presents. So it's the importance of the partnership between the patient and the medical professional is key. The importance of listening to your patient complaining of a long list of ailments and that you guys try to make sense of it with a new set of glasses. We need an holistic approach, a collaborative approach that is the opposite of the, you know, the old silo approach from the past. Um, we trust that you guys the young medical professionals, with your openness to doing things differently, will have a huge impact on diagnostic, treatment, and also on longevity of us, the Lewis D syndrome patients. So each of you, with your different set of glasses, you'll make a difference. Thank you. Thank you.